Hello there, it's Titanis here. I want to talk about new AMD GPU, which is all the time compared to RTX 4090. I mean, look at the price of this thing. AMD pulled out big cannons against Nvidia, but I think it might backfire at them when the benchmark comes out. As I calculated in the last video, Nvidia still keeps the crown when it comes to the performance. But for what the cost? But still, I think it should be more compared like this. For the price of RTX 4090, you can get RX 7900 XTX with one of the best CPUs and motherboard which allows you to enable SAM, which gives you even more performance. Of course, we don't know if SAM was enabled on AMD presentation, but still the price of RTX 4090 is out of their ass. If we compare TDP of each card, we can see that RTX 4090 consumes almost the same amount of watts as AMD GPU with CPU together. Yeah, that's right, almost whole high-end PC takes only slightly more power than RTX 4090. And all of that for... verbal please? 10% more FPS according to AMD presentation and my calculations. Of course, there is more than a raw power when it comes to GPU. Nvidia have DLS3, which I think is still gonna be better than FSR3. And they have better ray tracing performance. In my opinion, we should compare RX 7900 XTX to RTX 4080, which is still more expensive, but hey, at least it's closer, right? Let's take a look at the specs. Doesn't look like AMD card is way ahead, but it's a different architecture, so it shouldn't be compared toe to toe. We still don't have any of these cards, but there was leaks about RTX 4080 performance and even benchmarks. According to Tech Power Up, RTX 4080 falls behind even compared to last gen RTX 3090 and AMD last gen flagship. And again, according to AMD presentation, RX 7900 XTX should have up to 70% more performance than RX 6950 XT. Which means that when it comes to raw power, AMD demolish RTX 4080. Of course, for trustworthy results we're gonna have to wait for benchmarks of both cars. But I think AMD played quite well in this gen, and I hope benchmarks won't be that off from my calculations. Let me know what you think. Would you even consider buying RTX 4080? I mean, RTX 3090 seems to be a good option as well, as price is going to drop when new gen drops. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel.